Sorry if it's a little windy. Uh, so I'm at the next spot, still in Bancroft. Uh, we're actually just behind the food land in Bancroft. So if you ever come to Bancroft, maybe check this place out. So this place is, I think they were supposed to put a Home Depot here and then it just never got built for some reason. But this whole stone, basically, yeah, bedrock has quart quartz uh, bugs in it. And this was actually the spot that got recommended to me by uh, a prospector that I met at the CN Rock Dump and the more into town. So I just kind of started looking around and I noticed somebody had been digging here recently. And let me just show you what they left behind. So this is, so this, this back stuff is calcite and then you got a nice quartz druze, druze on uh, on top. And then this, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure if you can see this thing right here, I'm pretty sure that's a quartz point. Which is really awesome. Cause that's pretty de decently sized. So I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna kind of look around, see if I can find a uh, hollow. You kind of have to just test around here and listen for hollow noises. Cause that means you've hit a, uh, a vug. Or I might just dig in here cause it looks like they're not totally finished and there might still be stuff in here. So who knows? I'll get back to you guys if I find anything super cool. But yeah, this spot's already paid off with that quartz crystal, so I'm quite happy. I'm happy that the guy guy recommended me to this spot because it seems like it. It's a, a semi-decent spot. You probably have to do a lot more work than like the sea and rock dump, but if you're a person like me who li just likes collecting minerals no matter what, this is another cool spot to check out but I'll get back to you guys if I find anything else so I started digging in there and look what I just pulled out if you notice right there where my thumb is pointing got a nice quartz crystal it's got some iron stain into it and it's a, in calcite so I think I could actually erode the calcite away a bit but yeah that's pretty cool I'm pretty happy about that and this is what I've been pulling so far. There's a lot of druzy pieces and then some other smaller pieces. And but yeah. It is it does have quartz here, so that's cool. And I'm just kind of pulling out handfuls and sifting through them and trying to check out what kind of stuff there is and that's what I'm kind of pulling out. I'll probably check out and see if there are any other pockets that people have opened up and just see if they've left behind anything by accident but yeah so far so good so here's some of my uh finds from the uh food land occurrence in bancroft this was a uh, spot i quickly stopped by for a couple hours after visiting the sea and rock dump i got a recommendation from a prospector who had been uh digging there i think for biotype or not biotype mica, but there is a, a certain section of the sea and um, rock dump that has a lot of mica books, like very large mica books. I actually was gifted one. Um, but he 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 recommended this spot. It is a little picked over, which is one thing to keep in mind. Like it's it's obviously not a fresh spot, so a lot of people have collected there. But I still managed to find a uh, partially dug out vug or pocket basically. And I pulled out some stuff that the people, had, the person who had been there before had left behind. So I'll show you some of the ni nicer pieces that I found. So first to start off, there's a lot of druzy material that you could find with small points. Like you can see here, there's a mix of druzy and small crystal points. And a lot of the druzy is kind of covered in this iron oxide. And you can, I, I did some of it I removed with iron out and some of it I decided to leave because I kind of like the look. Because you get this almost like a raspberry red kind of look to it. 
and you can see this piece is a good combination of small quartz points and quartz druzy. Here's another piece, a nice flat piece, and you can see the nice, you can see the sparkling, like just a sparkle of the druzy. It's a really fine druzy, like it's not like um some, some I've seen some videos of people finding druzy like in the states where it's like it's not super big quartz points, but they're like decently sized. Like it's not like they're small. Like you can definitely see the structure and everything. But with these, it's like very small. Like you you need a microscope to look at the crystal structure on these guys. Some of them form some interesting little, because they grow in calcite. And they form in the bubbles, uh, bubbles and bugs in the calcite. You can see with this one, you can get some very interesting structures. And like you'll have pockets with crystal, like larger crystals. And then you'll get the small druze. And like this druze tends to be like a Kind of like a smoky to white clear druze. You can see this one is like a smoky druze. Very pretty. You can see the sparkles in it. It really does sparkle a lot. And like I said before, you get like some of them, you, you get really funky kind of like mixes where the druze, I think the druze grew over the larger quartz points. You can see some of the some of the uh, larger points of quartz. Let's see if this could zoom in properly. That I would very much appreciate that. You can see the uh, the larger quartz points, but then the druze grew over them. I believe there was a decent amount of pyrite or some other type of I iron-based uh, mineral, because you can see there's a lot of there's a some of these have a decent amount of iron staining on them. Very interesting piece. Now let's get down to this guy. This was the second biggest quartz point I found. It has grown into a uh, into a uh, chunk of calcite. It was a chunk of calcite I pulled out, and then I noticed that there was this quartz point that I that was stuck to it, and then also on the top it has. A nice bit of raspberry quartz as well. Now, when I say raspberry quartz, it's not actually quartz that's color colored raspberry color. It's just quartz that's been stained lightly with iron iron staining, and it gives the look that it's raspberry quartz. I'm contemplating on actually putting this guy in a heavy acid bath and trying to do one part of it, like this part first. And then do this part to expose these two parts separately so I can keep like this a little bit on the matrix so that it's not all dissolved away. And then this guy I can expose as much as I want. That's something that I'll have to think about. Now for the best piece. Again, probably you can see this really nice large smoky quartz point. And then you've got whole bunch of little druzy red druzy quartz growing in there and it's growing right up against the wall of the calcite fog that it grew in but look at that thing and that thing actually got left behind by whoever dug in the uh the hole that i dug i believe they didn't realize what it was and it was covered in dirt and then it got rained on and the rain exposed this really nice large quartz point or lar lar the largest quartz point that I found there. It's a really uh, cool piece. And I love the, the kind of the smoky quartz with the red druzy quartz at the bottom. It's such a nice little, little mix of minerals and colors. It's a really interesting and cool piece. And you can actually see there's some Sometimes the uh, druzy quartz will do some really interesting things and you can see right here This is a piece of druzy quartz and It's almost grown in like a really thin sheet. I Don't know what causes that but 
there's some really interesting growth that these these Jersey quartz and you can see here too it's kind of grown in a thin sheet and then it grew on top I don't know if that that was the where it originally met the calcite and this was like the first layer of quartz that grew and it grew really like if it maybe it was calcite crystals it grew the Jersey grew on the calcite crystals see if we can get a close look closer look up at that that it grew on the calcite crystals and then as the calcite has dissolved away you get this um druzy quartz that's left over it and of course there's the structure it it basically leaves a negative negative imprint or a negative structure of the calcite crystals or calcite structures that were there at least that's a theory behind it but yeah that is my uh, largest quartz point from the food land, uh, food land occurrence. So, thank you for watching, guys. I, uh, once again, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Um, if you like this type of content, please do uh, drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. So... Today is the day of the raffle. It has been two weeks. As you can see, this is the subscriber giveaway video. There were a bunch of comments. Um, duplicate comments will be filtered out. I'm gonna copy the link. There we go. Filter duplicate users. Um, and I believe that is all good. Let's see who wins. Okay. Ah, good old Elections Canada. Yeah. Imagine. Well, actually. You guys in the U.S. did have actually an election during the pandemic. So what am I saying? And John Diamond, congratulations. You are the winner. Uh, I will contact you. It's kind of funny, all the way from Indonesia. Actually, it's a side note. Most of you guys probably don't know, but I actually, yeah, uh, in my younger, younger years, my younger childhood, I actually, yeah, Grew up in Indonesia for a bit. My parents did some work there, so we lived there for a while. But yeah, congratulations, John Diamond. Um, I'm gonna contact you. And guys, if uh, I don't hear an answer back, and I'll give John a week. And if I don't hear an answer back, I'll, I guess I'll do it again. <laughs>